technique of these tapes are separate into different groups according to the attacks or the grabs. The first group is the chest grab. The attacker grab your chest with his right hand. With your right thumb, press into the cavity point of your attacker's hand and turn it into a clockwise direction and apply pressure on his wrist. The second one is also a chest grab. And this time, you're also locking the attacker's wrist, but this time you're turning into an opposite direction as the first one. The next one is also a chest grab. And now you wrap your left arm around your opponent's right arm and push down on his elbow and the shoulder. The next one is a double hand chest grab. With your both hand holding the attacker's arm and turn it and lock his both hands. This is another single chest grab. This time with your right hand with the front pressing in to the inner elbow of the opponent. There's a cavity points over there which will create a lot of pain on the arm. The next one is a shoulder grab followed by a punch to the head. You block with your right arm and turn it clockwise and lock both of your opponent's hand or arm. The next one is a grab from behind. With your left hand put on top of your opponent's hand and lock the position and with your right elbow pressing down, apply pressure on the wrist. This is a shoulder grab from behind. With your left hand putting on top of the attacker's hand and your right arm wrap around the attacker's arm and apply pressure on the elbow and the shoulder. This is the same grab as before, this time with the right hand grabbing the shoulder muscle. Now we move to another group, which is hair grab. The first one is hair grab from the front. With your left hand, fingers, taking into the cavity point between the thumb and the index finger.
And the next one is hair grab from behind. With your left hand, secure his hand on your head and turn your body around with the right elbow pressing down on his forearm and elbow. This one is a forearm grab or a wrist grab. The attacker grab your right arm with his left. With your right hand turning in anti-clockwise direction and holding your opponent's forearm and apply pressure on his wrist. The next grab is also a wrist grab with the attacker's right arm grabbing your left arm. This is a two-hand grab. First put the attacker's left arm on his own inner elbow and press forward and downward to create pressure on his elbow. This is also a forearm grab. With the right hand, wrap around the attacker's arm. And the right hand also grabbing the shoulder muscle. This is a two-hand grab the forearm with the attacker's left hand on top. When you practice this technique with your partner, you be very careful when you're applying pressure on the joints. The next one is two hand grab from behind. The attacker grab both of your arm from behind and you turn around and holding his both hand and locking his both arm at the elbow joint. This is another double hand grab on the forearm. This is another technique that locking the attacker's both arm at the elbow joint. This is also a two-hand forearm grab. This time with your right hand turning clockwise and putting pressure on the attacker's wrist. This is a reverse wrist grab. Grab your opponent's hand and turn it over your body by twisting his arm. The next one is upper arm grab.
you put a lot of pressure on your opponents by wrapping your right arms around his left arm. This is another forearm grab by both of the attacker's hands. By putting your forearm on top of your opponent's palm, 